Today we're opening a Dark Magician tin versus a Dark Magician girl tin. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we have two old school tins, one being 2003 Dark Magician and 2005 Dark Magician Girl. We're gonna see which is better, Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Harpy's Feather Duster from Stairway to Destin Duel. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know which is better, Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. We're talking in general, we're on the tins, whatever you wanna do, just let me know in the comments. Before we get into it, big shout out to Dylan for sending me these to open up for him. This is pretty awesome because these are or some old school tens, pretty expensive products at this point. He also wanted to send uh, for the Spellcaster theme, the Structure Deck Spellcaster's Judgment. He said, you can either open it up or in like send all the cards back or just send it back sealed. I can't open this. If you guys look at this, look how nice it is. It's a structure deck, so there's no point in opening it because it's gonna kill the value. So I think that we're going to keep this sealed for him. Just check out what is inside. This is a really old school one. If you guys remember the Dark Eradicator Warlock, it's really cool. I may even ask if I could buy this because like I have the Warriors one that went with this, but I don't have this one. So I'd rather not, you know, open this up since there's no real RNG to it. You know, we, we were going to get the same cards every time. He's going to lose a lot of value if we open it. So I think we're going to keep this sealed. Maybe I'll even get to buy it off of it. All right, now we get into, whew, we get into some big time 10 openings. I think we'll start with Dark Magician Girl. Actually, this one might even be more than the Dark Magician, but we'll start with the Dark Magician Girl, which is a pretty amazing 10 from 2005. He has a list of stuff that he actually wants to pull. So we'll kind of go through that as we're going through the packs. But let's see what we got inside. We have Dark Beginning 1. We have Dark Revelation Volume 1. We have Soul the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and Flaming Eternity in here. Plus, of course, the Dark Magician Girl promo, which is pretty expensive if you grade it a PSA 10. So let's see what we can get. Hopefully a really nice promo here. Ooh, this is a nice 10. All right, there we go. We just uh, destroyed it. It's over. <laughs> let's see if we can get that, uh, that PSA 10 promo. That would be pretty amazing. Inside we have... A Dark Magician Girl. Okay, this seems like maybe it's a little warped from what I can tell, but card looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little bent, actually. You guys see that? That's actually unusual for these to be bent. It's a slight bend, it seems, but yeah, you can tell right there it's a little bent at the top. It's kind of bent, but I don't know. Maybe if you flatten it out, it could uh, it could work out, but still nice on the surface and everything. Centering looks pretty good. Just a little bit bent, unfortunately. So we'll have to see if that, you know, could get flattened out. Maybe he'll be have some luck doing that, but beautiful card. Looks nice. All right, here are five packs. Out of Dark Beginning, he wanted to get Monster Reborn. Here he wants to get Chaos Command Magician. Soul of the Duelist, I think he said, yeah, Mystic Swordsman level four, Silent Swordsman level three, and then he wants to get a Blast Magician from this Flaming Eternity pack. So let's see if we can get some of that stuff. That'd be pretty amazing some nice choices there blast magician looks amazing in this set let's see what we can pull guys flaming eternity we recently opened a booster box of this the other day on a live stream so go check that out if you guys missed it pretty amazing and speaking of live streams we are doing a metal raiders first edition box break this weekend either friday or saturday not sure yet maybe even sunday i don't know keep an eye on the youtube community tab i'm going to be announcing it there i've already sold a lot of the packs at the time of recording this probably sold out by the time you guys see this video going to be an amazing break because there's a lot of really nice comments in there you can actually make a ton of money uh just writing comments in that set we have a catnipped kitty we got the poison fang did i do the the uh Pack trick, I was gonna say the Ruxin special. Divine Dragon, Ragnarok, the Earth Hex Sealed Fusion. Insect Knight, one of the craziest flavor techs of all time. He is the paragon of indestructible insect invaders, which only the elite of the elite can join. We can no longer ignore their unmatched battle prowess. You love to see it. Fulfillment of the contract. Flame Ruler, and will we get the Black Magician, or the Blast Magician, I should say. Ooh, a Swords of Concealing Light. That's a pretty rare. Uh, it can look really nice being an ultimate, like insanely nice. All right, next up, we are looking for that Silent Swordsman level three. I think that's an ultra in this set, or is it level, f I think it's level three actually, it's an ultra. Let's see, can we get the ultimate rare? I don't know if you can get those out of tens actually. I'm pretty sure you can get the ultimate. So we're looking for the ultra version. Element Saurus, we got the monkey, Moki Moki Smackdown, not the monkey, the Harpy Lady three, the Moki Moki King. Harpy Girl, this card's it got some value. I think it's like a few bucks. Back to square one. The Lighten the Load and... Might be the next one. Okay, Harpy Lady 2 and... Flint. There it is. Flint. All right. We got a regular old rare Flint. So we are starting 0 for 2. We got eight packs to go total in the opening. So hopefully we can uh, turn it around a little bit, get some fire stuff. All right, Soul of the Duelist here. Now we have Mystic Swordsman level four is what we're looking for. This is an ultra. I pulled this out of my first Soul of the Duelist box as an ultra rare. It had a ding in it right out of the pack for me. So hopefully that has not happened here. Let's go one, two, three, four. I just realized that that first pack was first edition, wasn't it? This Lemmy Eternity was first edition. It was first edition, nice. Okay, that's actually pretty sick out of a, out of a uh, 10. I don't think we did, did we do the pack trick? 
I don't remember. Let's go. Let's just go. Sandwich. This card was a few dollars for a while. I think it got a reprint recently, though. Fusion Weapon. Arm Dragon level 3. It's a classic card. Okay, I double did the pack trick. Mystic Swordsman level 2. This is actually a great card when you're playing in GO format, though, because that Warrior deck just hits those face downs. No flip. No Magician of Faith for you. None of that crap. So we got a nice rare there. We got a Horus Servant, Goblin Calligrapher, and Taunt. Yeah, I definitely double pack tricked there. Whoops. On to Dark Revelation 1. Volume 1. There's four volumes of this. Dark Revelation 4 is the most expensive. It's actually pretty rare. This one, we are looking for Chaos Command Magician. I have no idea about a pack trick here, so we're just going to do this. Tip card number 24. Dark Paladin states that I can only be special summoned by a fusion summon thanks for the tip i'm sure a lot of us were using dark paladin back then not we probably wanted to but we could oh we wait what it was the first card tribe infecting virus i hate how it does this i think it puts it at the beginning because it's a monster this used to be a lot of money actually this rare i don't it's probably still a few bucks great your spy i bet is a couple bucks as well that's another good card great angus this might be one where you can pull a foil as well not really sure uh, a man with the widget. Great Angus just is like a burger. Like, <laughs> that's the name of like a burger, like at a burger place. A man with the widget. Oh, oh, Rux and Specialing. Is that a trap? Is that a foil? Gwaku Guy or Panda? The Koitsu? What could be. What can you get in here as a skill drain? But that's not a foil. Okay, I don't know. Oh, it wasn't. Arsenal Roberts. Nothing. Oh, Rageki Break. Okay, Dark Scorpion combination. Shinado's Arc, Reasoning, and Mustard. A lot of good cards in here, but yeah, that was not a foil. There was like a gap there, and there was nothing. Final pack. This 10 so far been pretty rough, but you guys know how the 10s go. Dark Beginning 1. Can we pull a Monster Reborn? I had a Dark Beginning 1 Monster Reborn in my OG deck back in the day when I was a kid, so it'd be pretty cool to pull that. I think it's just regular pack trick here. There might be like 13 cards, actually. Let's just do this. Shadow of Eyes. Luminous Spark. We got the infinite cards. Toll. Tip card. Okay. You cannot set a normal spell card, ritual spell card, or equip spell card face down in your spell and trap card zone. But wait, what? You can, but there's only one major reason to do it to bluff your opponent into thinking you have a trap card. If you are not bluffing, there's very little reason to set a spell card. Interesting. Unless they have Delinquent Duo, you know, and they're about to rip it out of your hand. You never know. Giant Germ. Okay. That's actually a pretty decent tip card, though, for uh, back in the day. Armored Lizard. So a lot of them are terrible, like uh, the Dark Paladin could all be, you know, whatever. Wing Dragon to Guardian of the Fortress level one, or number one. Hysteric Fairy. Big Eye. The Minar. Magic Drain. No, an infinite dismissal. Oh, no. The Dark Magician Girl 10. Over five. Maybe we're saving all the fire for the OG Dark Magician 2003 10. Let's see. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. All right. So far, if you voted Dark Magician Girl, you're not looking too good. Dark Magician just needs like one pull here. One singular pull. And this has the first five sets. This has Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, and Labyrinth of Nightmare, plus the Dark Magician, of course. But the promos in here are usually in horrible condition so let's hope that this one is in great condition because if it is that's pretty tough to get these in psa 10 so that'd be a pretty nice pull let's see if we can open this thing up officially come on these things are always kind of difficult to open there we go there are the packs let's see about the card what's it look like oh and there it is the scuffing around the back it's actually not that bad though let's check this out you guys see this it's pretty minimal, honestly. It's not that bad. Pretty nice condition. Oh, centering's not bad. I mean, this is honestly a pretty good condition Dark Magician. It's probably better than the Dark Magician Girl because it's not bent, which is actually pretty nice. So Dark Magician BPT promo. Beautiful looking card. It looks nice. Oh, yeah. Solid promo game today. And out of here, we want Celtic Guardian, Solemn Judgment. He said Blue Eyes Tune, but I don't think you can get Blue Eyes Tune out of the 10s. You can get Serpent Knight Dragon, so I don't know, maybe a secret rare there. He also said Genzo, same thing. It's a hobby secret rare, so I think it'd have to be Imperial Order. And then he said, uh, what was for LON? Dark Necrofear. That's that one you can get, so that would be pretty cool. Let's see what we can pull. We'll start here and try and get that Dark Necrofear. Will we be able to get the Dark Necrofear? This is such a cool card. Such a beautiful card as well. Let's go. We have Headless Knight right there. Okay, one, two, three, four. Can we pull a foil? So far, we're 0 for 5. We got to pull something. We got the Mario Kutai. Portrait Secret. The Dark Door. Dream Sprite. The Headless Knight. A Lady Panther. All right, all right. This is like Black Panther 2 coming up. We got the uh, Grand Tiki Elter. Cure Mermaid. And... Marie the Fallen One before it became Dark Lord Marie. This is a classic card, but... Okay, another non-holo. 0 for 6. Even for Yu-Gi-Oh, this is pretty rough. Okay, next up, Pharaoh Servant. What will we get next? Can we pull something amazing like a Buster Blade or something cool like that? Uh-oh, we got upside down cards. You guys know what happens with upside down cards. Usually good stuff. So wait, I think it was... Let's just do this real quick. All right, Dokuro Yaiba. What a classic card. 
A boomerang with brains that will pursue a target to the end of the earth. I don't know if I've ever read that before. A boomerang with brains. That's pretty sketch. That's pretty scary. Dark bat. This is such a classic card. How does a bat have a thousand attack though? It's pretty good. Insect imitation. The attack and receive. Infinite dismissal. Bubonic vermin. Seven completed. Enchanted javelin. And... Oh, Parasite, Parasite. Look how dark this is. Whoa, this thing printing is very dark. Okay. Parasite, Parasite fits the card because it's a pretty dark card. Pretty nice Weevil card. A Weevil. My Parasite, Parasite. <laughs> okay, okay, I got to work on the laugh a little bit. Nice super rare though. We finally pulled something nice. Okay, let's see if we can finish with like an Ultra now. I have an Ultra and a super. That wouldn't feel too bad. Okay, Magic Ruler. Okay, good stuff in here. Since we can't pull the Blue Eyes tune probably is the Serpent Knight Dragon. There's a... Look at this. This looks like it was supposed to be a fat pack, if you guys know what I mean. And like they wrapped it around and then this is like too long. It's like diagonal. What in the world is happening here? That's weird. Sometimes they just printing is just weird. It doesn't look like resealed or anything from what I can tell, but it does look a little bit weird. I mean, definitely looks strange. Okay, that's a weird pack. Let's open it up, see what we can get. What was I saying? We uh, want relinquish the stuff. That's yeah. Okay, weird pack. Definitely weirdly sealed. Two, three, four. Let's see what we can do. We got an Eekaboon. We got a queen bird. Oh, whip tail crow attacks from the skies with a whip like tail. Very nice performance of sword. Sonic bird. Tai home number two. The electric snake. What a classic card. I mean, I really like the look of this card. It looks pretty sick. I always thought this was an MRD for some reason, but it wasn't. This looks like the most like PC generated like in the 2000s thing ever. That like ball at the end. It looks so weird. The Minar and the shining angel okay pretty cool card these recruiters are always just really nice cards like not necessarily to pull but just to have in your deck okay two packs to go this one could be the solemn judgment that's what he wants solemn judgment that's a nice one okay solemn judgment super solid let's go we have the ancient brain feel the pain ancient brain and metal raiders this is the one we're going to be opening soon mrd it's going to be pretty awesome a lot of these comments in first edition are crazy valuable let's go launcher spider deep sea shark sword of deep seated Guilty of the D-Knight. Ancient Brain, feel the pain. We got a Tongyo, very, very nice, awesome. The Swamp Battle Guard, all right. What are we gonna get? Solemn Judgment would be awesome, obviously, like Barrel Dragon, Beast Skull, Summon Skull, Gate Guard. Well, you can't get Gate Guardian, so you'd have to get Thousand Dragon. That would be good as well. Tremendous Fire, let's see. The Little Chimera, no, not you. We don't wanna see Little Chimera. Okay, well, it's a rare, it's there. Could have been like Sangan, Magician of Faith, you know, those rares, but you know, which of the Black Forest, there's so many good rares. A lot of good cards in that set. All right, and we are finishing it off with a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. He's a Celtic Guardian, that's doable. It's only a super rare, so we can do that. This paint, is, this pack is like, feels weird for some It's like cut right here. It's got a weird, uh, thing going on here so this is oh that's because of the thing this is actually a fat pack no body shaming going on here but there's a fat pack right here um these 2003 packs let's see can we pull an original blue eyes white dragon let's see i don't know why but for some reason i feel like opening it this way maybe this will give us some luck maybe it'll give us some luck let's go one two three and four let's see blue eyes white dragon celtic guardian is what he wants so we would obviously want that as well so once again shout out to dylan for sending us these awesome opening it's been a lot of fun beside the legendary swordsman always love opening these old school cards in warrior number one so this one actually doesn't have the drop down set uh symbol or logo or not symbol i guess set um code like a lot of them do i guess it's because it's from 2003 i think all the 2002 ones did we got a mountain of violet crystal very nice vile germs Fire Yaru, very cool. The Succubus Knight. Okay, the Succubus Knight. We have the Tyone. Very cool. And will this be at the Blue Eyes, the Celtic Guardian? Oh, and a Celtic Guardian! So he did get exactly what he wanted. The Celtic Guardian. So one of the 10 requests, we fulfilled one of them. Okay. We'll take that. The final pack. Finishing with a Celtic Guardian. That's pretty sick. And this card looks like it's in great condition. Wow, that's such a nice card. That's actually super cool to pull a Celtic Guardian. That is really, really awesome. Celtic Guardian, super rare. Exactly what we were looking for. So we'll take that all day. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG, Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Jews, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.